everyone, three-dimensional geometrical uh, shapes start with prism and then extend it to cylinders and cones in a sphere. Here, we are going to see how we can measure the volume of a cylinder. The idea is similar to uh, prism. It means you have to find the area of base and multiply it by height. I have a cylinder here. Let me just rotate it first and show you what shape this figure has for its bases. As you see, the cylinder has two identical circles, one on top and one on bottom. Do you see? Both of them are exactly the same. We call this circle, one on top and one on bottom, we call them bases. So simply you have to find the area of this base and multiply it by height. Let me just provide you some numerical value and start to see how we can calculate the uh, volume. Let's this circle has uh, the radius of 3 and let the height all the way from top to bottom here be 10 centimeter and that one be 3 centimeter. To find the volume, you need the formula. Formula is telling you you need to find the area of base and then multiply it by height. Exactly the same as idea for prism. Okay, therefore volume is, but what is the base? I showed you the base here is circle. What's the area of circle? The formula of area of circle is pi times r square, isn't it? Okay, this is for base, and then you have to multiply it by height of the cylinder, was, uh, which is showing by h. So therefore volume is, instead of pi, I'm going to use 3.14 just substitute the values. What the radius is, radius is 3, should raise to the 2, and then times height in that case is 10. So as a result, if you put everything in one step in calculator, volume would be 3.14 times 9 times 10, and then put in calculator, approximately the volume would be Mm, yes, 282.6. And what the unit is, because we have three dimension, our unit is centimeter, but three dimension, you have to raise it to three. It means cubed. So therefore, the volume of this cylinder is nothing but 282.6. Let's do one more of this. In that case, I'm going to rotate to change the direction of the cylinder. Let's say the cylinder you see in some test, quiz, or a textbook. The direction of the cylinder is, instead of vertical, is horizontal. Nothing would be changed. The process would be exactly the same. I'm going to give you some unit here. Let, uh, in that case, I go and, uh, instead of providing you radius, let's say we are facing with the question, instead of radius, we are given uh, what's the diameter, okay? Let's this diameter in this example be 10 inches. And let the height of the cylinder all the way from top to the bottom, it means from here to here, here to here, let's say is 12 inches. How we can calculate? Easy, again, the same process. Let me just divide these two example. So again, you need the volume formula, which is area of base is unit pi, unit r square, unit height. So therefore, the volume is, again, 3.14 for pi multiply by r. Do we have radius here? No, we don't have. We have to find the radius first. Radius is half of the diameter, so therefore, you have to divide this diameter divided by 2, you will get 5. Therefore, radius is 5. This one should go to your formula. Therefore, radius is 5 to the 2. And what's the height of the uh, cylinder? Is 12. So, therefore, volume is 3.14 times 25 times 12. Put everything 
in one step with a calculator or you can do that do it in your head you will get 942 uh, unit would be inches but because this is three dimension don't forget to the three unit is inch cubed so this is the volume in that case easy peasy isn't it okay uh, let's continue to see how we can calculate uh, the volume of a coin. I have a coin here. Let me just show you. As you see, our coin has one base at the bottom, which is circle. Huh? We do not have two bases like, like cylinder. We have just one base, one circle. You need to find uh, the area of this circle and simply multiply it by height, which is the distance from top all the way to the center of the circle okay so let me just give you some numerical value okay in that case let we have the diameter of this coin let the diameter be six six feet and let the height all the way from top to the center of the circle this one this line the height be 12 12 feet so what is the vol from formula for volume of the coin it's exactly like cylinder what is that it means you need pi you need r square you need height but not all the formula you needed for a coin just one third of it would be enough so therefore volume for this uh, coin it would be one third carry down pi is 3.14 r in that case radius radius is not given you have to find it okay before continue our formula let's find the radius radius in that case you have to divide this diameter which is six should be divided by two therefore radius of this coin is three three what three feet okay so bring this radius in your formula so therefore radius is three to the two and then you need multiply it by height what's the height is height is 12 so as a result the volume is one third 3.14 times 9 times 12 multiplying these two guys together you will get 3.14 over 3 times 9 times 12 now you can put everything in one step to your calculator volume as a result would be 314 and what's the unit is unit is feet and don't forget three-dimensional shape always is cute. That's it. I hope you find this video helpful. If so, please click uh, like button and subscribe button. And don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe, which is uh, notifying you upcoming mathematics grade uh, 6 to 12 video that I'm going to create. And yes, thank you very much for watching and till next video, good luck everybody.